Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we are going to head to Hokkaido in northern Japan and the next few videos actually will be beers from Hokkaido that I bought when I was up there on holiday with my girlfriend. So for this one we are going to return to North Island beer. You may have seen my video I did of the brew pub and you may also have seen my Hascap Blonde review that I did their collaboration with Mikeller, that was about two years ago now, but we're going to return to these guys and they produce some pretty damn awesome beer. So this is one of the ones that I actually tried on tap when I was in the pub there. We're going to have a look at their IPA India Pale Ale, which comes in at 7% and I remember this being a pretty damn good beer, so I'm very much looking forward to having a closer look at this beer for you on the channel. But anyway, as is usual with my beer reviews then, I'll tell you a little bit about the brewery. If you do want to get straight to the tasting, just fast forward. All the usual links are in the description below. That's the brewery website, the link to my other reviews that I've done from North Island Beer. I will do more in the near future. There's all the usual social media. Make sure you check that out. If you want to see more beer reviews, do subscribe to the channel. If you want to see my other Japanese reviews, go into the homepage and search Japan and they'll all pop up. And of course, you can check out Casey and Eric at Sotogami Akihabira. They've got a really nice channel dedicated to Japanese beer and you'll see some collaboration reviews coming up with them very, very soon. So anyway, to tell you a little bit about North Island Beer. So North Island Beer is brewed by SOC Brewing and it's brewery in the suburbs of the city of Sapporo in Japan. Sapporo, of course, is the nice big northern island there, hence why the brewery is called North Island Brewery. But the brewery was founded by two beer-loving friends who actually trained as brewers in Canada and they began brewing their beer in Higashiku in Sapporo City in 2003 and they actually hoped to create a popular Hokkaido craft beer but the brewery relocated to Ibetsu City in 2009 and they also opened up their beer bar which you've seen in my video the Beer Bar North Island but at any one time this bar has eight different beers available usually six of their own sometimes guest beers I think as well but usually two special beers from the North Island range too and you can also get tours of the brewery and participate in the brewing process as well apart so the current brewer is Takayuki Tsutsimono sorry, and the other main guy at the brewery is Kenta Dobashi and I actually spent a little bit of time talking to Kenta when I was in the bar and he was a very very nice guy actually so if you get the chance to try and learn a bit of Japanese and you can speak to Kenta, very very nice guy and he made Michiko and myself very very welcome in the bar. It's a great little place to go and hang out in Sapporo which is in itself a beautiful city. Hokkaido itself generally is a very very beautiful place very like Scotland or New Zealand actually it's a really interesting place to go and visit but anyway they've got a very good brewery make sure you go and check out the other beers in their regular lanes there's the Pilsner the Brown Ale the Weizen the Stout the IPA and they also have the Coriander Black as well so you've got a load of things you can check out and there's various other random things that are brewed all over the place but make sure you check out North Island Beer but anyway that's enough about the brewery just now let's actually get on to the tasting of this beer itself so I'll just let you have a little look at the artwork of this one before we open it up so there you can see there all of the beers that are produced from North Island have this kind of um, it almost looks a bit like a snowflake they all have this nice pattern on the front here they're all just different colors and labels it's a plain bottle cap on this one of course on the side it tells you the temperature of, for the best taste is 8 to 11 degrees and I guess it will be about that just now it's a 330 milliliter bottle and you can see on the back there if I just lift up that little symbol down here just shows you Hokkaido that is the shape of the island of Hokkaido but it looks very very nice you can see in Katakana as well Biru but yeah should be very nice like I say this beer was rated at 85 overall on rate beer when I checked out when I tried it on tap it was pretty damn good as well so let's get this guy out and we'll get on with the tasting then so yeah as you can see a nice smoky opening as we get this guy out and we'll put it in the glass but this one I was really impressed with this beer on tap actually it was really really nice and you can actually smell some of the nice juicy fruity character coming off this one as you actually pour it out into the glass it smells very very nice really impressed with this one so yeah as you can see as you would expect from an IPA it's poured a nice coppery amber color there's a half finger of a frothy kind of creamy coloured head on this one. It looks kind of as you would expect. There's a lot of carbonation sticking towards the side of the glass on this beer as it's just sitting there, but it looks very, very nice. If I put my fingers behind it, you can see it is mainly opaque. There's actually not 
much in the way of transparency with this one, but looks kind of exactly as you would expect of an IPA. The right colour, the right amount of head and things like that. So let's have a look more closely at the aroma of this one then. Oh yeah, that's quite a nice big fruity one. I didn't get much chance to look at the aroma actually when I was in the bar. I was more interested in drinking the beer of course. But yeah, this one smells really nice. There's a lot of kind of citrusy orange in this one. You can also pick up the grapefruit in there. There's a nice mix of the kind of tropical fruits, the sort of grapefruity notes, the orangey citrus. I want to say there's maybe a little bit of passion fruit and some more juicy things going on in there. Maybe some mangoes, or a, not quite peach I would say, maybe a little bit of mango mixing with the orange citrus in this one. But it smells like a kind of typical American IPA. You've got some nice juicy fruits in there. Underneath you can smell a little bit of the, the piney resins. There's a little bit of floral aromaticity as well and you can get some of the grassy character of the hops too. But really for me the nose on this one is just that little bit more fruity. Definitely a kind of fruit forward on this. I would say leaning towards the orangey citrus kind of thing. So yeah, there's probably some Japanese hops in here as well. I think it was saying Migi hops they used in this one. I've not heard of that. that uh, type of hop before. But yeah, other than that in this one you can get a little bit of caramel, you know, some biscuity malts underneath, a little bit of bready character as well. But yeah, quite floral and aromatic, a little bit of piney resin, some biscuity caramelly malts like I was saying, a little bit of bread, but mainly it's a nice juicy fruity character this one. Grapefruit and a little bit of orange. I would say it's leaning more towards the citrusy orange. But it smells very, very nice. So just take a little bit of time and enjoy the aroma of this one before you get stuck in. But we're going to try this guy now. So this is the IPA 7% ABV from North Island Beer from Sapporo, Hokkaido, Japan. Kampai. Thank you to Kenta, of course, for making Michiko and I so welcome in his bar. Cheers. Yeah. It's very, very nice as I remember it. The thing that's, key diff that's quite different about this one in comparison with on tap, of course, is the mouthfeel. The one on tap feels just that little bit thicker, a little bit more creamy and things. This one feels more crisp and that tends to be what happens when it comes to, to bottle conditioned beer, of course. But it has a nice bit of flavour to it, everything you'd expect. This is probably one of the best IPAs you're going to find in Japan, actually, one of the best American style IPAs. The other one that I've had that is comparable to this one, probably, is the Shiga Kogan number 10 anniversary IPA. This one is along the same lines as this. For me, in terms of flavour, though, the whole, the whole thing of this one, this is a strong flavoured beer, and that's kind of what you want if you're into the American style beers. This one really hits that note. There's a few IPAs that you'll get in Japan that don't quite hit that, but for me, this one really kind of shows the dedication to the, the kind of West Coast American beers. It has that strength of flavour about it. So for those of you who like American beer, give this guy a go, definitely. But yeah, in terms of the flavour of this one, in the middle of the palate, it's as you'd expect. You know, there's a little bit of biscuity character going right across the middle there. There's a little bit of a kind of pale ale malt or a bready malt just blanketing the middle of the tongue. Some richer caramel there in the centre of the palate. But of course, when it's an IPA, especially an American style IPA, the whole palate is more about the hops. So for me, this one's big and piney and resinous. It's the piney flavours that are actually coming out and kind of sitting there in the aftertaste on this one. That big resiny character is just sitting there. When you come further forward it gets a little bit more floral I'd say. There's maybe a teeny bit of earthiness in the back corner of the palate but overwhelmingly on the sides and towards the front of the palate it's big and pine resiny and there's a bit of floral aromaticity in there. That's what's really kind of lingering in this one as you go into the aftertaste. But yeah, that's a really really nice beer. If you're into hops like Centennial and things like that, this is one that you're definitely going to enjoy. It's got that big dark floral aromatic and pine resin -y character about it, this one. The fruit flavour is quite interesting too. It really, in, in comparison with the aroma, I thought this was going to be a more citrusy and kind of juicy IP, but really it's grapefruit. It's really just grapefruit that's kind of punching its way out of this one. It's quite punchy on that grapefruit flavour. Hmm. 
but yeah just pay attention to that little curve behind the or that little bit just behind the front curve of the tongue you get that little oily bubble and it's just kind of dominated by grapefruit there is an element of citrusy flavor in, in it not quite orangey a more kind of sharper citrus i would say but really the fruity side of things is dominated by the grapefruit there's perhaps a little bit of passion fruit in there too some of the more juicy elements of the tropical character coming out but they're quite hard to detect it really does lean more towards a big kind of grapefruity flavor from this beer it's very very nice and for those of you who love big bitter blasts this one will certainly hit that note for you in terms of the mouthfeel this one i'd say it's mid body the carbonation does have a little bit of an attack on it and that really helps the pine resin and the grapefruit flavors come out on this one those are what really linger into the aftertaste of this one those are the really kind of prominent flavors of this beer there's a little bit of sweetness from the malts and it is quite oily as well the oily character of the beer is nice and aids the fruitiness and also helps bring out the malty character of it as well but overall i would say this is a pretty damn good beer this is one of the best ipas you're going to find in japan certainly it's one of the top two ipas that i've found from japan so far the other one like i said shiga kogan number 10 anniversary ipa this one is easily just as good as that those these are the two best ipas that you're going to find in japan i think so yeah this is a very very good beer as i say in terms of ipas if you enjoy the kind of uh, the centennial hop the big floral piney resin ones this is a, an ipa that you're definitely going to enjoy but kenta has produced a very very good beer for this one and hopefully you'll see it outside of hokkaido sometime soon i think you can get it in tokyo but it's quite hard to find this beer outside of Hokkaido but if you get the chance and you find yourself in Sapporo make sure you go and visit North Island Beer a very nice little brewery owned by a very nice guy from my experience and they do some pretty damn awesome beers as well so yeah this one was the IPA from North Island Beer in Sapporo Hokkaido Japan make sure you check these guys out but as always thank you for watching my beer reviews until the next time please like subscribe share all the usual YouTube stuff let me know your own thoughts on this beer in the comment section below and do let me know your own thoughts on this brewery and your favorite beer that these guys do as well so thank you for watching until the next time Kampai and I will catch you soon with more beer reviews we do we will do another one from North Island Beer before I head back to Europe from Japan but thank you once again for watching and I will catch you soon. Slanja just now.